I'm in the parking lot of Barnes & Noble right now, and it's just awkward as someone walks right in front of me. Hello everyone, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. We are in the car again, which means we are doing a long time overdue bookstore vlog. I feel like I used to do these like once a month for like a few months. I think my last one that I put up here was like three or four months ago and I have been doing pretty well with my TBR, my physical TBR. So I thought that I could reward myself by coming to Barnes & Noble today and just getting some new releases that I've been really, really interested in. I have a couple of books that are on my mind to get. I'm about to go on vacation. I need a few good vacation reads and I am gonna bring you along with me. From far away she looks so good Grew up in the same neighborhood And that's out of rough salt in the wind Spend a few hours on the reservoir Never broke a bone so I'm gonna try hard To prove you wrong That I'm not who I used to Like a primrose, you're never taking me alive. So come close, and I know why you said it. Cause I'm reading every word in your voice. today actually we got four books at Barnes and Noble and then I forgot that I had two books in here from Amazon that I wanted to show you as like honorable mentions I just I needed to show you these because if no one else knows this then you need to know so yeah we have our six books here that I can show you so we're gonna start with our honorable mentions reckless and powerless third and fourth book of the chestnut spring series I needed to say this because if no one else knows this then you need to get these while they're still here because they are going out of print these mirror versions that they're called with the mirror and like the pictures on the front I bought flawless because it went on sale but I wasn't gonna read it anytime soon so I was like I'm just gonna second book whatever and I went back on Amazon and it says that it's out of print and I went to Elsie Silver's Instagram and it said that she's taking these mirror versions out of print all like one by one so flawless and the second book heartless are already out of print because they're like redoing the covers or something so I have the first one and I don't have the second one it's just gonna be such a weird chestnut springs display on my shelf I panicked and bought the third and the fourth book so that they match this series is everywhere right now this chestnut spring series and it is so so popular and people have compared it to the knockabout series which I just read the things you never got over and I loved that book so I really wanted to read these books, but if you want these pretty covers, then get them now because they're going out of print. So yeah, we have Reckless and Powerless. Actually, I feel like this is the third book and this is the fourth book. Third book, fourth, I'm not sure. But we have the series now. These are my two honorable mentions that I got from Amazon, not the bookstore, because you can't find them at the bookstore because I looked and they were not there. 
So yes, those are our first two books. Now moving in to the books that we did purchase from Barnes & Noble. First we have Caraval by Stephanie Garber. This back is so, so cute. It's a little admit one ticket. This is the first book in the Caraval series. I think there's like three books and apparently they are a sort of like prequel in the same universe as the Once Upon a Broken Heart series and I really, really, really want to read that book but I've been holding off because I heard that there are some spoilers in that Once Upon a Broken Heart series so you should read Caraval first and you'll like just understand it a lot better once you read Once Upon a Broken Heart. I finally decided to get Caraval. Look how pretty this cover is. It's beautiful. It says a legendary competition, a mesmerizing romance, and unbreakable bonds between two sisters. Tells the story of Scarlett and Tella, and then they've been waiting to go to this caraval, this show that's like a magic show. I guess if you win something, then you get one wish. Tella is kidnapped by the mastermind organizer named Legend. It turns out that season's caraval revolves around Tella and whoever finds her first is the winner. And whether Caraval is real or not, she must find Tella before the five nights of the game are over. This looks so good. This is like such a good fantasy book. I'm so excited to read this book, finally. That's our third book. We have The Atlas Six by Olive e. Blake. This book has been everywhere recently as well. Olive e. Blake, I feel like, as an author has been everywhere. These letters and words are so small. It's gonna, and it's not that big of a book, but I still feel like it's like, you know, taller than most normal sized. Book. There are these sick musicians and they're selected to earn a place in the most elite secret society in the world. Seems like they all have different, I guess, powers. It sort of seems like it's the Hunger Games premise where they fight each other to get that coveted secret society spot. Looks really good. I've heard Olivia Blake's writing is really, really good. So I'm excited to read my first book by her. And then I think there's another one out that's really popular by her. I think it's called One for My Enemy and I want to read that one next. But I'm going to start with The Atlas Six and I think there's a sequel to this. But this is just a book that I've been dying to read lately and I finally decided to pick it up. Our fifth book is just this little baby novella. This is part of the Shatter Me series. It's two novellas. If you saw my last video then you know that I am reading the Shatter Me series right now. I haven't read anything past the first book yet but I'm thinking that when I do read them I'm not going to read them all in like one go but just as I read them I'm just going to pick up the camera and like say my thoughts just for fun because I loved that first book and I loved that first reading vlog. There might be like two more books and one novella after this one but this is just two novellas in a row and I'm not going to read the back because I do not want any spoilers because like I said I'm only on the first book and this is like the fifth or sixth book in the series so I need to pick this up but it is gorgeous. I also read somewhere that the main books of the series have the eye open and the novellas have the eye closed so that's how you know what's a novella and what a regular novel in the series. So that's kind of interesting. That's a little novella, our fifth book that we got. I'm just like slowly accumulating all of these books to put on my shelves to just be waiting for me because I have a feeling that when I do get reading it's the second and third book I'm just going to keep going. So I'm just like slowly accumulating them as I see them. And then our last book we got is The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, who is the author of The Inheritance Games, which I read earlier this year, and I loved that entire series. It was like a five-star series for me. It was so smart and clever, and I love the concept. I love all the riddles and everything involved in it. And this is her next series. Front says, to catch a serial killer, you have to think like one. The cover is a gift box made of all little puzzle pieces. So I think there's gonna be more like puzzles and riddles in this for us to solve before the characters. Even though I don't think I solved them before the characters in the Inheritance games. So I'm just gonna hope that I do solve them in this one. <laughs> they always get me though. Jennifer Lynn Barnes always gets me and I can never figure out her riddles before the characters do. This girl is like an exceptional teenager. The FBI is hiring to try and crack cold cases. I think they're thinking of just getting another perspective of these cold cases. So Cassie is one of those selected teenagers and she tries whoop, to solve a serial killer murderer and it's just like a whole program of these exceptionally talented teenagers. So it's a very cool concept. It looks like it is a completed series. It has the second, third, and fourth book right on the back here. I wanted to pick it up and try it just to see because it's just a very interesting concept. Those are all of the books that we got for this 
bookstore vlog today and then the two honorable mentions down here of the chestnut spring series i am so 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 excited to get into these i did pick up a lot of fantasy series i am realizing and the chestnut springs is the only romance but let me know if you're reading these books because i feel like all of these books honestly are extremely popular and i feel like i'm very late to the game in reading them so i finally have them i'm adding them to my physical tbr i am sure there will be multiple videos featuring those books so stay tuned for those and that concludes our bookstore blog this was like therapeutic i needed this today thank you so 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 much for watching and i will see you next time bye